Good afternoon, this is Randall Whiteman. Today I'm going to show you a quick overview of the customer maintenance application in Epicor ERP version 10 using the demo instance of Epicor. Okay, let's get started. I've logged into the uh, home screen of Epicor and I've got some favorites set up showing um, standard applications. And in the master data favorite under customer maintenance, we've got the customer maintenance application. So I'm going to use a, a customer called Addison, which is in the demo database. And first we'll just look at the, the basic customer details. So obviously we've got an area for the name and the customer type, and you can have prospects and suspects in the CRM functionality. We're going to use the customer type. And you've got the address of the base customer, that's the company itself, rather than uh, so separately from the contacts, from the, the staff of the customer. And you've got some print options, uh, so whether you're going to the customer requires acknowledgements or requires statements. And an area for uh, a phone fax email, well, that's for the, um, the company, for the customer company, as again uh, separately from the, the staff within the customer. I'm just going to go over a couple of the uh, the options. Up here you've got some flags, uh, valid sold to, if that's unticked then uh, the customer cannot be transacted. So we'll move over onto the billing tab and you've got basic details. Um, so we have terms, the trading terms for the customer. Uh, if if the, the business charges uh, late finance fees, this links to a uh, set up record for the late charges and a reminder group so when uh, preparing um, reminders for the customer uh, to pay their overdue invoices uh, you can select customers based on the reminder group they've been assigned. Uh, another important flag here is the auto invoice flag so when an when a sales order is shipped, you can have Epicor to automatically invoice, prepare the, uh, the customer invoice. Over on the Bill To tab, so the, the name, address, and phone numbers for the, the Bill To uh, for the customer. So that could be separate from the base customer address. Moving along, we'll show so the price lists. So price lists for the customer are set up outside of the customer maintenance and within customer maintenance the code is attached to the customer. So we can see in this instance there are two price lists attached to this customer and similarly discount price lists, so discounting is set up through the price list structure. In this instance there are no discount price lists assigned. Moving on to credit, we can see here is the total credit limit that has been authorized for this customer and you can set a review date for the credit manager to review the credit for this customer. An important option here is the credit hold flag uh, which will or you can set up so that you can prevent sales orders from being entered or being shipped based on this flag. Uh, moving on to the contacts, so now this is details of the uh, the individuals, so the, the people associated with the customer. And we can see here, so this is a, uh, a record from the contacts database. And we can see here that we have options for the name, uh, what function they, um, what role or function they have in the, in the customer and contact email and numbers and also we have the primary contact flags so you can record the individuals within the customer who are the primary billing or purchasing or shipping contact. Uh, moving over to attributes so you can set up user-defined attributes based on the need of the business and you can assign those attributes to the customer in this screen. And lastly, we move over to the Ship To tab. This is where you can hold one or more customer locations where order shipments can be sent to. 
and on here we have uh, a lot of the same structure as the customer, the base customer record. We can see we have name and contact details, we have address details, and we can move across and we see that we can have multiple contacts at the uh, individual people at the uh, customer ship to locations that you can hold their details and also then we have price lists so pricing can pricing and discounting can be set up at the ship to location if this is a business requirement well this has been an over quick overview of the customer maintenance uh, application of Epicor ERP10. Thank you for watching and I look forward to seeing you next time. This was a Whiteman Online presentation. For more great content, subscribe to the Whiteman Online YouTube channel and visit the website. I look forward to seeing you soon at Whiteman Online.